What's up you guys, Sean Allen here. I am currently working on a special thumbnail for the Disneyland video series. This is a map that I got during the Disney Egg Extravaganza event that happened at Disneyland. I was looking for hidden Easter eggs all around the park. And my prizes were these eggs here, the Mickey Mouse egg and the Minnie Mouse egg. Now originally these eggs were not photographed with a map. That's because I green screened them into the picture. I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to use green screen on Final Cut Pro 7. Let's get started. First and foremost, we need an image of the eggs. I'm going to use the Mickey Mouse egg as an example for this video. As you can see, there's all this green around the image. We don't want this green. How do we get rid of it? First, we click on the image. We go up to Effects. Under Video Filters, go to Key and click on Chroma Keyer. Under Chroma Keyer, you come over here to Select Color. Hold the shift key, click on the icon, then drag the cursor into the green, and then click again. Now release the shift key. As you can see, all of the green is gone. Mickey is now all by himself. As you can see, there are all these sharp edges around the egg. We don't want those. We want it to be more smooth. Move the cursor to softening, and then click on the bar and drag. Now you're going to notice that there's a little bit of green showing up again around the edges. So move over to Edge Thin, click and drag until the green is gone. Now the image looks a little bit more smooth. Let's now move Mickey onto the image of the map. First you click on the image and then drag to the right spot you want. Now you're going to see that he is a little bit big for the image. So we're going to change the size. Click on the image again and click on Motion. Under Motion, go under Scale and type in the right number you want. The first image was 40, so I'm going to guess that it's about the same size. As you can see, he shrank. Now we should position him in the correct spot on the map. This section here goes from left to right, while this section here goes up and down. If we were to type in negative 500, he moves to the left. If we were to type in 500, he goes to the right. We want him to move more towards the left, so I'm going to go with negative 800. Now we want him to be more towards the bottom of the image. We're going to type in 375. And our image looks good. He looks a little bit smaller than Minnie, so we're going to reposition him again. And there you have it. The thumbnail is complete. Chroma Keyer doesn't only have to apply with photos. It can also be used in videos as well. Thanks for watching. 